Hey guys, I'm Don Leonoria and this is how I print Protopasta's coffee scented HTPLA. So this stuff isn't exactly new, it's been around for a while now, uh, but anyhow the aromatic coffee HTPLA from Protopasta is a high performance PLA which means it's supposed to be stronger, more durable, more flexible than regular PLA, still as easy to print as regular PLA, which is probably as easy as it gets. They've also added a coffee scent to it, so it's supposed to smell like coffee while you print it, which is nice if you like coffee, and I do. Uh, I've only printed this on the 6 Plus, uh, and except for the fact that the 6 doesn't have a heated bed, which by the way works great. Uh, I've basically used what is standard settings for PLA in Simplify. I've extruded it at 220 degrees with a slightly higher temp for the base layer. Uh, so this stuff can be annealed or crystallized if you like, which means you can put it in an oven at maybe 100 degrees Celsius for about an hour and uh, this will change the printed parts mechanical properties as well as ability to withstand higher temperatures. Protopasta claims annealed parts can withstand temperatures up to 140 degrees which is uh, really good. So to test this out I printed two coffee cups of course. Uh, this one is straight out of the printer, it's kind of shiny looking, uh, translucent if you like, it's a little flexible, while this one have been baked if you like for about an hour in 100 degrees celsius. And by the way, once you're uh, finished with the annealing process, leave the part in the oven for uh, until it cools down uh, or you'll get problems uh, with warping. So to test this out, I put these two cups out in the sun for a while before putting boiling water in both of them. I quickly realized this uh, wasn't maybe the best test or the most scientific test, but anyhow I did it and uh, after a while the part that hadn't been annealed started to get soft and mushy while the one that uh, had been baked uh, still kept its, its uh, rigidity if you like, still stiff still rigid um, and uh, of course yeah they both leaked and this shows my quality as a youtuber being out of focus but anyhow I think the annealing process seemed to work it's interesting I need to print more parts to test this out um, and yeah so that's about it uh, I think the coffee PLA is easy to print it looks good it's uh, it smells good it's uh, it's really nice so that's how I print the coffee PLA. I hope you find something in there of use. Uh, click like, subscribe and all that. And I hope to show you other materials in upcoming videos. Thanks.